Hey everybody, how's it going? Today's video, we're going to install Google Ads conversion tracking, but we're gonna do enhanced conversions in Shopify in Google Tag Manager. I haven't seen many videos on this where they're capturing all the various variables that are needed. People typically just do the email. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in less than five minutes. So again, you have a Shopify site, you're using Google Tag Manager, and you wanna do enhanced conversions, but you wanna do all the variables. So here we are on our Google Tag Manager uh, overview section. Let's go over to tags, click on our conversion tracking tag, click on this area here, click on include user provided data from your website, check this box, click on select user provided data variable, click on new variable, it'll bring you over to this section. We need to call it something, let's just call it user, uh, let's call it customer data. That's good. Okay. And now instead of automatic collection, instead of manual configuration, go to the bottom and just select code under data source, scroll down and select new variable. Type in Shopify enhanced con conversion variables. I don't know. I'm just typing like crazy customer data. And then just click on here, variable configuration, click on custom JavaScript. And this is the code that I'm going to put in the description of this video. I want you to grab this function and paste it in here. Let's go over what it does. So it's returning a variable name called email, phone and address. And there's an array for address that includes first name, last name, street, city, region, country, postal code, yada, yada, yada. Now on the check, we're going to fire our conversion tracking page on the, um, on the purchase page, of course, but right before the purchase page, it's going to grab all of these variables from Shopify. And this variable value is how it's going to return it from Shopify. doesn't matter what kind of theme you have or, uh, you know, what you've done to your, uh, what you've done to your theme, you know, if you have a Shopify site, this will work. So it has to be capital S. So shopify.checkout.email. And then the, the rest are a little bit different, but regardless, just focus on copying and pasting what I've included in the description into this section. And I'll show you what it does. Let's click on save. Click on save again. Okay, save again. Good. Now we can preview. Okay, so it's going to go to my test Shopify site. Good. So this is my test site. The debug mode is on. There we go. Conversion linker tag fires. And I'm going to also turn on tag assistant. I want to find the EM parameter in Tag Assistant that fires now that we have enhanced conversions in place. This EM parameter should be attached to your Google Ads conversion tracking tag if enhanced conversions is successfully implemented, which it will be, I'm confident. So let's go to this test product, add to cart. We'll go to checkout. Okay, I've got this all on test mode. So I'm going to click on check out as a guest. I'm going to go cash on delivery. So I don't have to input my credit card information. I'm going to put my email here. I'm going to put my billing information, you know, my billing address. And these are all those variables that we talked about. So again, once you click on complete order, all of these variables will fill based on those, uh, those variable values that we had in our code, All right? You can see them here, country, first name, last name, address, city, province, postal code, all of that stuff. So let's click on complete order. Okay. So that's done. That went through. 
Now over here in Tag Assistant, we can click on Purchase. I'm, I'm using the Analyzeify data layer variables. Shout out to those guys. They've really made a great product. And if you have a Shopify account and you search Analyzeify, it's a really good way to kind of set up events and data layer variables and stuff like that. Now, if I click on the purchase event here, and then I click on, let's click on variables. Look at this. Under customer data, you see my email has been submitted. First name, last name, street, city, region, country, postal code. Okay, great. Now, what else? EC VARS. Yep, so this is also present. Yep, there we go. Email. Phone is null because there wasn't a way to submit the phone with this particular Shopify site, but that's okay. There's a lot of data being sent. Here's the one that we created. Shopify enhanced conversion values, customer data. Email, phone, first name, last name, street, city, region, country, postal code. Fantastic. Anything else that I need to look at? I think that's it. So let's go over here to tags. We can see that the conversion tracking tag did fire. Check this out. So you can display the variables as names and that doesn't show you very much, but when you display the variables as values, then you see the type is Google Ads conversion tracking. It succeeded. It's got a transaction ID. We provided product level sales data. That's when we check, when we check that checkbox and you can see the email is coming through. No phone, because it wasn't a phone number. Address is coming through. Look at all of that data. Fantastic. So we did that in less than five minutes. Oh, I wanted to show you in Tag Assistant. So let's go back to our site. Click on Tag Assistant here. And click on Google Ads Conversion Tracking, right? And then click on URLs. And make it show like this with this uh, kind of grid system. Scroll down. And you'll see this EM parameter. This is an indication that everything is encrypted and sent through to Google Ads. Okay, so this is also an indication that it's working. And give it 48 hours or so, and you should see in Google Ads that everything is set up correctly. You need to have enough data that comes through the system that is paired with this customer data in order for Google Ads to kind of do its matching and and also modeling okay hopefully that was helpful i really like this and uh, this is a really easy way to implement enhanced conversions via shopify enjoy